Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, Sarah Caper from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation. Sarah, you are the director of the Ag in the Classroom program. Tell us a little bit about that program. Yeah, we are available to all the schools in Champaign County and we teach free agricultural lessons to K-8 students. And you are for Champaign County, but there is a coordinator for every county, is yes, that right? Yes, all 102 counties in the, in the state of Illinois have a representative, a coordinator who can teach in their schools. So if you're watching from Sangamon County, Ford yes. County, wherever, we'll connect you with our on the website uh, there to Absolutely. find your local coordinator. Absolutely, yeah, you have to. Because yeah. there's still some school left here. We're in the month of May now. Yes, yeah, we're finishing up about mid-May. Mid-May, so mm -hmm. a couple of weeks of lessons here and then it turns to the summer season. I see some strawberries here. Tell us a little bit about the uh, lesson we've got going on Yeah, here. these are my leftover strawberries from the refrigerator. They'll be perfect for this activity. So if you have some older strawberries, strawberries, this is a great thing to use them for, or even frozen strawberries. So my connection with strawberries to agriculture is, of course, it's a great time of the year to start planting strawberries and thinking about that. But also, um, there's something called agriculture biotechnology. And agriculture biotechnology technology is just simply um, getting to the DNA level of a seed of a plant and being able to improve what it can already do. So you can improve its pest resistance resistance, it's um, growing in certain kinds of conditions, or even the nutritious level of a plant. So um, you'll see later on the screen that there are a list of technology, biotechnology. Yeah, we just had that pop up. Perfect. There, uh, careers that can be followed. But I want to show you a little bit about agriculture biotechnology using strawberries and strawberry DNA. So okay. You and I both know that everyone, every living thing, that's animals and plants, are made up of cells. And we're right? going to take those cells. and We're going to take those cells, and we're actually going to pop them open so that we can get to the, to, to the DNA, which is housed in the, do you remember your biology? In the nucleus that's of right, the nucleus. cell. That's right, nucleus. I should know that. You cells, just caught me off guard here. So, it's early on Monday okay. this morning. I know, Quizzing it's here. early. I don't mean to do that. I was going to say, that's in so the cell. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> we chopped off the greens of some of these, and what you're going to do, and you can have your kids do this too, I've done this in a lot of classrooms, is you get to pop those cells cells by smashing the strawberries. So just take your hands and try not to pop the bag, yeah, right? Yeah, kinda you want to kind of, yeah, let's mirror out. It a little you want to mush those up. So what you're really doing, if you think about the cells as um, water balloons, you are popping the outer layer of that cell and you're releasing all of that well, cytoplasm that's inside. And okay. what you're doing is you're getting to the DNA. So give those a good, enough? keep going a little bit okay. more. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add something called DNA extraction liquid, which you would think is something really fancy schmancy. It's not. You can make it in your kitchen. It is a water, salt, and dish, dishwashing soap uh, combination. Oh, cool. Okay. And what it does is it actually makes those casings around the cell uh, very slippery. We're going to do about three tablespoons. We may do a fourth since we have a lot of big strawberries yeah. in there. We want a, plenty of liquid. And um, and the salt um, dissolves all of those, those things that might be clinging to the DNA and kind of makes for a nice little liquid. Then, oh, do we have a little... I think I got a little hole in the back. That's okay because we're going to do a little pour. So we take a regular coffee filter and I show kids how to fold it in half and fold it in half again. And if you drop it into a cup, like this, mm -hmm. uh, you can make your own filter. So go ahead and pour that juice and all of those chunks right into the cup. Yeah, you're already filtering it, but if you get some of the chunks, that's okay. fine. That's the fun part. And what we want to do is we really do want the liquid. And if some pieces get in there, um, we want to let those in too, that's okay, but we're gonna take that juice just like this, and then I have some Clorox wipes for your fingers oh, if you need it. Then we're gonna take some really, really cold rubbing alcohol, and I want you to just pour it down the side of this cup, and we want equal parts uh, liquid, and strawberry liquid and there you go and alcohol rubbing alcohol and what you'll start to see jacob is that there's a white film that's forming right there that must at be the, the top that is actually the dna oh okay interesting. the stream in dna is starting to separate let's put that a little closer yeah and you will see that um, hanging out you can see as the cloudiness even forms along the side there that's the dna that is separating 
and then you can scoop it out. It oh, looks wow. like snot like this, <laughs> and that is that is the DNA. Now, I know you're dying for a little necklace, okay. so if you took some of that DNA and you put it right here in this little centrifuge tube that you can buy on Amazon, you've got a little DNA. I'll and there if you we don't go. have that you. DNA, if you don't have that, don't you can worry still about it. Have fun. You can see the DNA there. All right. Absolutely. This is a great lesson. We're out of time. Uh, we'll get more information on this lesson on DNA on our website, WCIA.com. We'll have the full details for you there. Yeah, it's too long.